Hi again everyone. In this simple video we're going to discuss partial derivatives and partial differential equations. Now the nature of this video is very introductory, very basic. Basically what we're going to do is calculate some partial derivatives and um, show that they satisfy a certain equation. Now the equation that we're going to look at is the following. It's called the wave equation. And you can see that this equation involves partial derivatives of some function w. And for this reason, these types of equations are referred to as partial differential equations. Now, partial differential equations are very important in modeling, in applied mathematics, in engineering, in physics, because they unlock a lot of information about certain phenomena. Now, this particular partial differential equation, or PDE, is known as the wave equation. And the wave equation models sound waves, light waves, and water waves. And it arises in accompanying fields like acoustics, electromagnetics, and fluid dynamics. Now, the C here is just a constant um, re related to the wave speed. So let's have a look at the following example. Consider the wave equation. Show that a solution to the wave equation is given by this function here. Now, what we mean when we say solution to a PDA, we mean that the, the, the specific partial derivatives of this function satisfy this equation star, or the wave equation. Okay, so basically what, what we're going to do here is calculate the partial derivatives of this function that appear in this equation and show that the equation balances or holds. Now usually what we would like to do is we, we're given or we um, formulate some PDE and we want to extract the solution somehow. So this example is even simpler. We're given a particular function and we're asked to show that this is really a solution to this problem. Okay, so if W is cos of 2x plus 2ct, where c is a constant and t and x are the variables, then let's calculate the partial derivatives in here. Now, these are second order partials, so we're going to have to calculate first order partials first. So dw dt is just ddt of this function here. Now when we take partial derivatives, we, we differentiate with respect to t, holding all the other variables fixed. So imagine x is fixed, c is a constant anyway, and we differentiate normally with respect to t. So that 2c will come to the front, and the sine will go to, uh, sorry, the cos will go to the negative sign. Okay, let's calculate the second order derivative, d squared w dt squared. So we go back to this derivative and differentiate partially with respect to t. Okay, again, imagine the variable x is a constant, c is a constant anyway, and differentiate normally with respect to t. So that 2c two, two is going to come to the front again, and sine will go to cosine. Okay. To compute d squared w dx squared, let's first compute dw dx. So we take out w and differentiate it partially with respect to x this time. So we hold t constant, c is a constant anyway, and we differentiate with respect to x. So that 2 is going to come to the front and the cosine will go to a minus sine.
and let's calculate d squared w dx squared. Again, we differentiate the derivative we had before. Oops. Okay, so imagine t is fixed and c is a constant anyway and differentiate normally with respect to x. So that 2 is going to come to the front and the sine is going to go to cosine. Okay, so we've calculated the two partial derivatives that are in our wave equation. Let's look now at and show that the, the wave equation balances for these expressions here. So the left hand side of our wave equation is d squared w dt squared and from our calculations for our given w this is what we obtained and the right hand side of our wave equation well that's c squared times d squared w dx squared. So let's look at what we calculated for this derivative here. It's here. So multiplying by c squared, we get the following. Okay, thus we compare the left hand side of our wave equation with the right hand side of our wave equation, and they're actually equal. So we can conclude that our given function w is a solution to our wave equation. Okay. Let's look at the bigger picture though. Well, when verifying particular functions are solutions to PDEs, compute the necessary derivatives that appear in the PDE and show that the PDE holds. Okay, so here we had these two derivatives. We calculated both of those derivatives from the given function and showed that the equation balanced or, or held. Now, in certain circumstances, the chain rule will be required to compute the partial derivatives of interest. Let me say a little bit more about that. This function here, well, it's easy to, to compute the derivatives, but I've given an example down here where the f is unknown. Now, the only way you're going to be able to compute the partial derivatives here is to use the chain rule. But let's, you know, let's um, get to that in a minute. Firstly, I want you to understand that you need to learn maths by doing maths. You don't get good at maths just by watching videos. So I've, I've given you two examples here. Here's a very basic one showing that this particular function also is a solution to the wave equation. And then a slightly harder example showing that, well, this more general form where f is, uh, has continuous uh, derivatives, this general form is also a solution to the wave equation. And I've given a hint use the chain rule.